Resistance bands are great for stretching, especially for those with limited flexibility and mobility. Certain stretches and mobility exercises are best done with assistance from someone. That is why resistance bands are essential if you don't have or don't want help when stretching. Resistance band can act as your personal, portable stretching partner. Desk jobs, driving. A large percentage of what we do in life is in front of us, making it common for the muscles in the front of our body to become hypertonic or shortened and limiting chest, shoulder and arm flexibility. Now turn around to stretch your upper back. The upper back muscles tend to get tight and tense, especially if your work involves sitting for a large proportion of the day. Performing a series of light stretches with the elastic band can loosen tension, prepare you for a workout or even help to improve your posture. Your shoulders do a lot of work throughout the day. You need them to lift, pull, push and reach and even to walk and sit up straight. It is no wonder they sometimes feel tired or tight and may feel achy or stiff after a workout. One effective way to keep your shoulder flexible is by doing deltoid stretches. The deltoid muscle is situated around the top of your upper arm and shoulder. Its main purpose is to help you to lift and rotate your arm. Tight chest muscles contribute to a postural deviation known as hyperkyphosis. So opening up the front of the body through a variety of chest stretches can increase flexibility of the chest muscles and connective tissues and allow for greater range of motion in the shoulder to improve upper body posture and allow for pain-free movement patterns. The pec minor is a muscle found on the anterior chest wall that directly affects movement of the scapula. Tightness in the pec minor can adversely affect scapular function, specifically in limiting upward rotation, external rotation and posterior tilting, which can cause impingement and frozen shoulders. The latissimus dorsi muscles, known as the lats, are the large V-shaped muscles that connect your arms to your vertebral column. They help protect and stabilize your spine while providing shoulder and back strength. Your lats also help with shoulder and arm movement and support good posture. Strengthening and stretching your lats is essential in building upper body strength, improved range of motion and preventing injuries. Your triceps are used for elbow extension and to stabilize the shoulder. Tricep stretches increase flexibility and can help to prevent injuries. By hooking the resistance band around the elbow enables you to intensify the standard overhead tricep stretch. The function of your biceps is to flex your elbows and to supinate your forearm. It also assists with flexing and abducting your shoulders. So, to stretch your bicep, you extend your shoulder and pronate your arms. Stretching your bicep with a resistance band is a great way to improve flexibility, range of motion, arm strength and reduce your risk of injury. Performing this stretch targets the biceps but is also beneficial for opening the chest and shoulder muscles. And of course, don't forget to repeat on the other side. The hamstrings are located in the back of your thigh and are responsible for flexing your knees. Since the hamstrings also cross your hip joint in the back of your thigh, they also help your gluteal muscles to extend your legs when you walk and run. Improvement of your hamstring flexibility can help you to maintain optimal athletic performance and to prevent injuries such as lower back pain. Now draw your right leg in towards the left to stretch your piriformis and the other abductor muscles. Tight piriformis is common and is usually caused by overactivity in young people and lack of activity for the elderly. Tight piriformis is one of the main causes of lower back pain and sciatica. Now grab the band with your right hand and stretch your right leg to the right, hovering your right foot above the floor. Ensure that you keep both of your shoulders and your lower back on the floor. The adductors should not be overlooked or ignored because tight adductors can lead to knee, 
hip and back pain. Now bend your leg and stretch your leg towards your chest to stretch your gluteus maximus. Now perform the same stretches on the other side. Stretching is very important as it lengthens and relaxes the muscles. Mobility is also very important as it increases your range of motion and allows you to move better. In order to get the right level of flexibility, you may need to adjust where you hold the band. If you don't have a resistance band, you can also use a towel, although you would not get the elasticity that you will with the resistance band. Tight quadriceps can lead to back and knee pain as well as reduction in overall mobility. Although your typical body weight static stretches are great and should be done, stretching with bands will take your flexibility and mobility to a new level. Remember, always stretch to the degree that is comfortable without going beyond your limits. And it is also important to warm up and loosen your muscles before stretching them. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button, share and comment on this video. Please also subscribe to my channel, James Tang Fitness. If you do suffer from lower back pain, please take a look at my book, A Practical Guide to the Self-Management of Lower Back Pain, which is available from Amazon. Thank you so much for watching.